Welcome to the Forge of Darkness Q&A Day um, webcam uh, extravaganza. My next question comes to me from Kate. Hey Kate. She asks, which has been your most satisfying troubleshooter story arc and why? Hmm, good question. Um, I gotta say it's a toss up between Sam and Alyssa and Jules and Robin. Um, probably because um, with with Sam and Alyssa, um, what I did in the early in the early days of the Troubleshooter series, it was it was completely my intention from the from the beginning to um, to show a a, um, a traditional uh, romance novel backstory um, in real t in what I was thinking as real time. So um, a lot of times when you when you uh, read a romance novel, you um, you meet the hero and the heroine, and you find out that they have this stormy, tempestuous past, and um, and you, and it's all, but it's all backstory. It's, it's all something that hap has happened before, and now they're thrown together, and they must work together, and they must overcome their differences to. Um, uh, you know, to win their happily ever after. Um, and so what I wanted to do, and, and well, first of all, and a lot of times that backstory included, um, you know, some kind of uh, uh, sexual intimacy, some some kind of um, what I think of as a, a sexual collision, where um, these two people um, had a, a one night stand or a, or a very brief um, sexual relationship that um, that went south fast and um, and so 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 taking keeping that in mind what I what I was trying to do with Sam and Alyssa and with their story arc across the troubleshooter series um, if, if you remember correctly they meet in um, in the unsung hero which is the very first book in the series and um, and they kind of um, clash and they circle each other and and it's not really until um, the defiant hero which is book two that they um, that they that they collide in that particular way um, as would would as would a traditional romance hero and heroine have done in their in their past, um, so um, so it was kind of it was kind of fun to be able to to tell their story um, in real time in the pages of the book through their points of view um, as it happened. So in the Defiant Hero, um, they they mistrust each other. There's this this kind of love hate attraction and. Um, and they do have that um, that very famous um, one night stand that involves, um, I believe, handcuffs and chocolate, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is the kind of thing you might want to want to try to forget if um, if it if it doesn't work out. Um, <laughs> um, so then, in in, in the unsung, um, no, in uh, the in over the edge where they um, they are they find themselves basically in the same uh, location again and are forced to um, work together. Um, but but it still doesn't work out. So I really wanted to um, I really wanted to layer on that backstory with them and to and to show uh, um, and to show their character growth and to show their um, their journey and 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 really have it take time. You know, um, the Sam and Alyssa story arc um, it concludes in their bo their book is gone too far and that's where they win their hap happy ever happily ever after ending. And um, and it was the let me see the sixth book in the series. So it's so it's um, it's um, the unsung hero, the defiant hero, over the edge, out of control, into the night. And um, in in um, in uh, out of control and into the night, they are um, they have kind of really gone their separate ways. Sam, in fact, is married to Mary Lou at this point. He, she's the uh, young woman that he. Um, he uh, gets pregnant, and so he does the, what he believes is the right thing by marrying her. And um, and we watch um, in real time, basically, as he untangles himself, as as Mary Lou grows up and and um, and makes some has some realizations and some character growth of her own, um, and as Alyssa kind of kind of um, plays with the idea of having a relationship with her boss Max, which um, is. Uh, is all all these things are happening over the course of um, several years um, before they again find themselves thrown together. Uh, so so in a so in a way, you know, if you were to pick up Gone Too Far, it would read a lot like um, a rom a romance novel where the hero and heroine had this this um, this rocky backstory, and um, and so that was my that was my intention with with having that story arc play out the way it did. Um, so uh, so that. 
it was it was fun to do that. And um, oh, and I have to say that my um, that was my, originally my intention to have one more book before um, gone too far. That was actually my my um, my planning was to have to have uh, Sam and Alyssa's story be book seven in the series. And um, <laughs> and my I remember, I remember my editor said to me, Suze, um, I don't think we I don't think we can keep you safe for that long. So so let's get to that story, which which um, made um, Into the Night be a much um, uh, thicker, bigger story than, than I'd originally intended, because um, there was, in my head, one more between. So a, lot, a lot had to happen in, into the night to get us to a point where we had gone too far and Sam and Alyssa could, could connect. Um, but with that said, um, I, I have a incredible um, place in my heart for, um, for, for the, um, the Jules and Robin story arc, which starts in, um, in Hot Target, their, the Jules Cassidy's romantic story arc. Um, and and uh, uh, watching watching Jules um, find Robin and and realize that uh, that that he's he's the the guy and and watching Robin um, recognize what's important in life um, was a really important story arc for me um, to write as as a as a the mother of a, a gay son as a as a human being as a as an American citizen who has a lot to say about um, equal rights uh, in in the 21st century um, so uh, so yes yeah, so that was a really important one too and was and that was a particularly um, intense story arc because it, um, again their their book um, uh, force of nature. Robin, um, Robin kind of hijacked the story and would not let the book end the way I'd intended. My original intention for Force of Nature was for um, for Robin to go into rehab, but but not come out of not come out of the closet and and um, and and have Jules still be um, intent on on keeping his distance because he really wanted. He really wants somebody who is out and open about who he is, um, and and um, and I got to tell you, from the moment that um, that Robin and Jules came face to face, it was the scene where um, where Jules actually knocks on Robin's hotel room door because he realizes that um, that Jules is in, in um, they're both in Sarasota for the Sarasota Film Festival. Um, well, Robin's in Sarasota for the Sarasota Film Festival. He's got a movie that's premiering or that is um, being shown, and he's come to town as as a celebrity to to help out with the with the festival. And um, and Jules has an important case that is that is happening, and um, and he's got to be t attending the festival because one of their suspects is a supporter of of um, of the film festival, <laughs> and um, and Jules is undercover and he doesn't want to run into Robin at a party um, and have Robin blow his cover, um, so he approaches Robin and and actually they come face to face for the first time in in years, and when Robin and when Robin sees Jules, it's um, it's this kind of his world turns technicolor, and he realizes in that moment, pretty much right away, that um, that this is that this is huge, and that this is not somebody he's going to let get away. And he, he um, I mean, it takes him a while to figure it out, but once he does, um, he's he's ready to basically throw everything else away because because he realizes what what is so important, and that is jewels and 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 love. Um, and that was not the way the story was supposed to go, and 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 um, and and so I, I spent um, I, I really I, I stopped writing for several weeks uh, to um, to try to get to try to bend Robin to my will, and um, he wouldn't do it. Really, it was a really interesting, unique experience for me. So that that makes that story arc even more meaningful to me. It's you know it's kind of funny. It's like I've written for all these years about Navy SEALs, and I have all these really strong characters who have um, a lot of um, you know it, it takes a lot of willpower to to become a Navy SEAL, and um, and it's the it's the the you know the kind of uh, uh, the, the actor, the the character, you know, Robin, who has so many character flaws and so many so many issues of his own and struggles and 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 things he's dealing with. Who um, who was the guy who who um, insisted that I wrote this book his way? So uh, so that's those are my two favorite Trouble Shooters series story arcs. Thank you, Kate, for your question.